Hi everyone, Waxfraud here, and welcome back to episode 30 of the Minecraft Hardcore 1.18 Let's Play series. Dude, this is going to be a good episode. We got something fun in store for today, but first, I do want to show you, guys, look behind me, or I guess now in front of me, we got Rainbow Mountain, we completely finished it on stream, I am, dude, I'm, I'm more than excited, look at this, dude, this took us about 10 weeks on stream to complete. 10 weeks of streams, dude. Oh my god. And our streams are usually anywhere from like 2 to 4 hours, and oh my gosh, this took way too long. Some people were joking that this is like the world's largest mob spawner, which I mean, yes, it kind of is now. There are a bunch of mobs spawning under this, but dude, check all of this out. I feel like a squirrel suit flyer. Like, if, I'm going to turn this. This is going to be a long play. I'm going to turn this into a rainbow mountain as well, a nice little rainbow island, so we can have a nice little canyon right here. But uh, I'm going to go up and, up and around and show you guys the tippy top. Up here, I kind of want to do a house. And uh, on this nice green pad, I actually decided to do green at the top because it's going to be the closest thing to moss and grass blocks. So up here, I'm going to do a house. I'm going to put some grass up here too and kind of make just a nice little starter house up top. I might do that in a long play. I might do that on the series. I'm not really sure what I want uh, with Rainbow Mountain, but I mean, at least I know that we need to take that side over there, turn that into Rainbow Mountain as well, and make this a whole Rainbow Canyon also. But yeah, up here is for sure going to be like a nice big castle type build, a nice fantasy build, kind of like the one that we did on Legacy SMP. I'm going to leave that bed though here for now. We do have some things. I'm going to go over and uh, get some glowstone just to kind of get ready for this build as well. But yeah, as I'm flying over, might as well tell you guys, feel free to follow us on Twitch. It's twitch.tv slash waxfraud. We stream every single day if you want to check us out there. And then also join the Discord if you want to as well. We're almost at a thousand people in the Discord, so thank you guys so much. Okay, popping in. Um, something bad that I noticed, I actually had to do this because the zombies, when I was AFKing in the wolf farm over here, for some reason, uh, had walked in and turned these guys into zombie villagers. Uh, so they're making the noises now. Good for you guys. Yes, you're doing fine. Actually, I'm going to leave that there because the door was broken down. But uh, yeah, so all these guys are, you know, they're just zombie villagers now. So I'm going to take this guy, you know, I'm just going to trade with him because he was nice. He, he happened to not have turned. And uh, so over here, these guys, they still turned. I'm going to do a splash potion of weakness right here. Oh, actually, I need to get a golden apple. Oh, God, I need to get a golden apple real quick. I'm pretty sure I have some in the gold chest. There we go. We got some gold apple. I should just keep these on me anyways because they're good to eat. Like, might as well just have one right now. There we go. Yeah, it gives me extra health, extra defense. We're good to go. Okay, so now we're coming back. We should be able to just do a quick, like, little splash potion of weakness on these guys here. And give you a nice little apple. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. What about you two? Oh, they're... Th oh, God, they're getting cured. They're getting cured. Please turn back. Turn back! Actually, this will- I really hope this actually gets us some nice cheap trades. This will- this will be nice. They're just shaking vigorously. Come on, buddy, you can do it. You can do it! Alright, they've been shaking for about a solid minute now. They're just- they're in sync. They're doing a synchron- they're doing synchronized movements. This is very good. This is nice. It's like they planned this. Come on now, guys. I- I believe in you. Turn back into your normal selves. Come on now. Get out of that gold armor. Turn into a villager. Come on now. Hey, it finally happened. Let's go, my dude. Dude, that actually took like over three minutes. I don't know what that I I looked at the clock. That was almost three minutes there, if not over. But this guy's still this guy's still shaking. He really doesn't want it. Maybe it's that gold armor, but he's back. Glad we got that taken care of. But yeah, guys, I also wanted to mention, has anyone noticed that on like 1.18, it's just been raining like so much? Maybe that's just a part of the game update and for 1.18, but dude. I feel like it has just been raining non-stop every time I log into like the legacy server and even in my hardcore world right here. But guys, thank you so much for watching episode 29. If you did, we did this right here. Basically, I can just run over. Oh, I'm going to hit the lava if I do that. I'm just going to go right here. This is a giant hole that we had dug and uh, it just goes down. We didn't really dig it. We, we kind of blew it out with TNT. It was fun. So I'm glad that we got to do that. But, uh, but yeah, we got some other stuff that we want to build right now. Over here, kind of where all these trees are, I planted a bunch of oak trees for some extra wood and leaves, but uh, I think over in this area, I'm going to do a giant cactus farm. I need a bunch of green dye, and uh, so yeah, I'm going to have to actually just start taking out all these trees. This was kind of a, now that I'm thinking about it, I should have just done a more organized tree farm instead of this. That actually I could do for an episode as well, is get a nice tree farm installed in this world. That's something I don't have yet, but let's get all of this just taken out of the way. I'm going to clear some space. Oh, we got a nice new beef bees nest here. I will... Wait, do I have silk touch on this? I do not. I have silk touch somewhere. But uh, I'm going to take that, actually, too. We have more... Of course, more bees. We Like, we needed more bees, dude. This... Actually, the bee inf infestation on this world, it has kind of cleared out. The FPS has kind of risen a little bit. Like, if I check here right now, my FPS is not... Nope, never mind. We're sitting at, like, 30. So... 
Yeah, we have bees everywhere, and they're kind of wrecking the FPS still, but it's okay. We're, let's just get these trees out of the way and make some space for the cactus farm real quick. Coming up on the last little bit of terraforming here, and that should be good. So I actually just brought, a, brought out a bunch of dirt here to kind of help flatten down. It used to be probably out to maybe here or so, and then I just kind of just filled in this little lagoon here. But we got cats rolling around out here now. What's going on, guys? Yeah, we have plenty of villagers in there to bring the cats out. But yeah, I hope you guys uh, enjoy this little flat area before we just completely decimate it and build a, you know, just build a giant cactus farm. You know, pave paradise, put up a parking lot, that type of stuff. Now, I do want to encase the entire build with Deep Slate on the tutorial that I've done on my channel. And you can go check out the tutorials playlist if you want to, just for the, the uh, easy little cactus farm tutorial. But I, that, in that one, I did concrete, white concrete. This one, I'm going to do Deep Slate. Deep slate. I mean, just to uh, kind of go along with all the other builds that I have on this world. And uh, so I'm not entirely sure how big I'm going to do this yet, but I will show you the basics in case no one has ever built one of these before. It's pretty easy. Uh, it's, it goes like this. Basically, you just need a little bit of sand. You're going to need a little bit of a cactus. I'm going to build myself up here a little bit and then you're gonna put this right here it's as easy as that and you know once you have these designs down you can actually just kind of go over I'm, I'm honestly just gonna repeat this throughout just like this um, it really doesn't take anything else much that more than that. You're really just going to repeat that over and over. You can make it as big as you want. I might stack this up a little bit too. I do want to make this a perfect cube though. And I want to make it like, you know, just a, a nice little structure that I can walk up to with the path as well. So I'm still going to follow my normal building guidelines. But yeah, I mean, that's as simple as it is for just the cactus farm itself. If anyone wanted to know how the mechanics worked behind it. But uh, there's also a little bit of water that you need to drop down below too. But I, I think I'm going to probably bring it over about nine or ten rows maybe maybe 12 i'm gonna i'll figure it out how much can fit here so we're actually only going out eight by eight with uh the cactuses but i think we're only gonna go up about four maybe three because it, obviously you can't go up eight otherwise it'd be super tall and that leaves about 20 deep slate blocks on the side that cow finally made it out that cow is stuck in this little maze that i'm making here um, I might be making this a little bit hard on myself, I'm not really sure, but I decided to just, you know, go through with the, uh, the logs right here, since I've never really done a cactus farm this big, but I decided, yeah, just put the planks everywhere over there, and then run along and put the sand everywhere, follow through with the cactus after this. Okay, now this is for sure going to take a very, very long time. I'm not sure if there's a faster way to get this done. If you, if anybody in the chat knows a faster way to get this done, uh, let me know. But jeez, man, this is, okay, this is probably going to take me a solid like half hour, 45 minutes to get all this done. Then. Okay, so we're backtracking a little bit. Uh, that was, I just did a big dummy move there. Actually, I'll put that back and I'll, I'll actually just use this here again. But they're not, they don't go over the cactus. I actually don't know what I was thinking. They go directly to the side of the cactus. Otherwise, the cactus cannot grow. I, I, I have no idea what I was thinking. So if you if anybody just stopped watching, they were like, oh, I got that got the design down. Good. They turned the music. They turned the video off. Yeah, sorry about that. You just got uh, a little bit bamboozled. I accidentally uh, that was my fault. I completely forgot. So we'll put those there and then we'll come back and like obviously you can do this and then then you have that one here and then you can just break that. So that is a little bit faster than what I thought I was gonna do. Oh my god, I cannot believe I messed that up. And I even have a tutorial on that. Oh man, that's that's a little embarrassing. All right, last cactus of the first row, done right there. And basically all we gotta do now is just open all these up. Let's just walk through and yeah, just I guess just open, oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, there you go. Let's walk through, open these up, and uh, then we'll go up. I think we just need to do two more rows and then we should be good to go, but dude, I'm liking this. This is awesome. Well, I'm getting started on the second uh, level here and I started noticing that there were some sounds and there's a cactus, we just picked one up. Perfect, dude. All right, yeah, we're actually picking up. You can hear it every. Yeah, there's one too. Or you can hear it every now and then. You just hear one go poof, and it just you just hear one on the ground. Oh, I'm gonna have water later that's gonna collect all of this, but as of right now, I don't have any water set up. Probably should have done that at first. That might have been a smarter idea. Um, and I also probably should be using bamboo, but for some reason. Uh, I just refuse to use bamboo. I have no idea why, but I forget to bring it every single time. I actually am not. I think I have it in that shulker box over there, and I just didn't even pull it out. Uh, but right now, I'm just going to go back to the basics. Let's build layer two, and then let's do layer three. And I think we might be able to close it up. I might uh, put it glass in the middle. I'm not. I'm not sure. We'll have to see what it looks like. All right. So I'm going on the fourth, and there goes another one. I'm going on the fourth level now because uh, we want to get up to make this a big old cube. And actually, here's. I'm going to use a rocket. I, I haven't actually gotten away from this build yet to see what it looks like from far away let's just get a little bit out here and dude this is industrial look and i love this so if we pop out just down here yeah this is going to provide us with a lot of green dye a lot of cactus a lot of green dye so i've been notoriously i don't know why i used that word i don't know why if it's I've been every once in a while come down here why did i say notoriously that's weird every once in a while I've just been coming down here 
grabbing the uh, excess cactus. We have we're back at 46 now. Basically, we just need 64 to be able to go through up there. But yeah, um, once we get 64 cactus, we'll make the fourth row. That actually might be the final row. Um, we'll have to wait and see, though. Well, we have four layers going up, and that's probably going to be it here. I, I do like the way that this is looking here. Um, so yeah, basically just going eight across and four columns, or sorry, eight columns, four rows. This is looking nice. I, I actually really like this. Uh, I didn't think it would... It looks really satisfying, like, all, like, going in between, like, looking all the rows and stuff. It, it looks pretty cool. But you're gonna go in and grab some water, and, uh, this is where it's gonna start, uh, basically you're just gonna start trying to direct all of the cactus that's falling, and I only grabbed one bucket for some reason. But you're gonna direct all of the cactus that's falling over to one side or the other. Now, I'm choosing to have everything go over there, and now you'll notice that I made this way longer, like, way longer than, uh, normal. Um, so what's gonna have to happen is I'll have to actually take this water, uh, actually, and double up. But yeah, when you walk back this way, you'll see it's all stopping. So what we're gonna do is probably put a bunch of these, these spruce fence gates, and I'll put them here, 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 and then you can just open it. Oops, that's, that's not right. Well, don't, we don't want to do that right there, but we want to put them right here, and then you see how that kind of slid through the gate? That's what all of the other cactuses are gonna be treated like. So we're gonna do this, 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 this all the way through and actually I don't, I don't know why i was crouching that was just that was kind of dumb once we're gonna once you open that up uh oh my gosh i'm just misplacing everything now you're gonna open that up you're gonna come back over on the other side place the water buckets in the same fashion right here they're not gonna be able to flow on the other side now they're gonna flow all the way this way which is perfect because then you can actually line all of this up take the shovel down go bam bam and go bam 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 all the way this way now all of the cactus should have basically it should be like a hundred percent chance that they reach over here now um, then you're going to take your hoppers and have them a hopper system go down the middle i don't really want there to be a door or like just a random like trap door right here just for one chest because we're gonna need a couple chests probably get like four or five double chests down there filled because i want i do want a lot so maybe instead of a pathway going over here, we could have a bath. We could have a pathway along the backside here, because we did start doing that. So we could still do that. Maybe in the middle here, we don't necessarily have to have a path. We could just have the path going over into like a downstairs area, which actually I might just start kind of building because if we can go down underground and kind of build a storage area um, to meet up right here, that'd be perfect. So if we go right here in the middle, this is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, right here in the middle. We should be able to meet up over there. So I do want to go down. We'll probably put a hopper system. Oh, what's up? How you doing over there, Iron? Um, so we're probably going to, yeah, bring the hopper system down this way. Let's actually just go one down two more right here. Maybe down one more right here. And then I'm actually just going to make my way back over to the other side. And hopefully I can reach, um, yeah, oh, yeah. hopefully I can reach the other side and then just connect the two. Make Have, have like a little tunnel down here for storage. So we actually went five double chests, double chests deep, and now you can actually, the easiest way to do it is just hop on top of the hopper, keep just doing that, level yourself up, and then you can actually just go up like that into that. And so each way of the hopper is just going to go down to the side like this. You want to make sure to go all the way to the edge so that it can capture everything that the cactuses bring. Um, I'm also going to have to get more water so that the water comes all the way down here. We have a lot more hoppers to make now too. I have a lot of things that I need to do to complete this little part right here. Now we just have to get a uh, just a thousand pounds or a thousand stacks of glass up here. It's just there's just gonna be way too much glass, man. But uh, we're gonna do it as good as we can. Uh, this is gonna this is taking me back to like last week when we were doing unlimited streams uh, with the ant farm that we were doing on Legacy, dude. This is this is crazy, man. Oh my god, we we placed so much glass and and here we are again. We're just gonna be replacing all this glass. But you know what? I like it. We, I want to be able to see it, all the cactus that's breaking on the inside here. So. What we gotta do what we gotta do. So I noticed down here there are a couple spots where the cactus just kind of chills under this fence. So what I'm gonna do is get in here and uh, just get down under. Uh, we're gonna walk through. Actually, I don't know why I'm not just using my shovel, but I, I actually don't really have enough room to walk because of these fence gates are blocking my room. But now all of the cactuses are just gonna slide by. The ice is going... They, they can't slide on the grass, but they can definitely slide on the ice. All right, so we got ourselves a nice big old deep slate cube right here, but... What we got to do next is uh, the top. I, I wanted to do something kind of cool for the top. And so what I did for the ant farm on the legacy was build like a kind of glowstone deep, sp deep slate spiral. And so that is actually what I was thinking about doing right here. Um, kind of just starting from the edge and going out into the middle is what I was thinking about doing. 
um, just because I don't want to start really from the middle. Maybe just starting from the edge this time will be kind of nice. But yeah, we're just going to do a nice little spiral all the way to the middle. On the side here, I actually thought it would maybe be kind of cool if we... I don't know, I kind of want to put some lanterns on the side. Kind of like how we do with all the other builds, there's always lanterns. So maybe we just do something like, I don't know, just do that. We can do the fence. We can get the chain going. We can get another lantern here. That seems kind of okay. Maybe we'll do that. And maybe we won't. Maybe we'll add trap doors to the top of it too. Do we have trap doors with us? We absolutely do. Can't go anywhere without spruce trap doors. Let's see. Just put one up there. I mean, that looks okay. We could try doing it on both sides. I mean, that's okay. We could... Oh, geez, I just fell. We could try putting like pots and plants on there too. I'll probably have to do that a little bit. Maybe I'll do it on stream a little bit too. We'll, we'll have to just see what it looks like when it's all done. So we're flying up right now just to get a good glimpse of the top and look at that right there. Yeah, dude. All right, so we just spent a little bit of time on stream before we were uh, grinding away on Legacy because we got a big, big project on Legacy that we're getting ready for. Big, big project. But yeah, I like I, I kind of like this here. We, we uh, rounded the top off with a bunch of fence gates, spruce that is, and uh, we went down with the azalea on the side and then I put cactuses in the pots on the top here just because, you know, it's a cactus farm. I have some fences left over. I don't know. I just kind of make this a little bit more beefy. I don't really know what I wanted to add there. That that looks fine to me, honestly. I like the way that it spirals all the way in there, but this is kind of cool. If you if you go down here, you can see a little bit of the detail that we put on the sides. It's just it goes all the way down just as what we showed you. Just the azaleas on the sides here, but the cactuses are on the top and on the bottom. So I'll go over here too. We actually lined up the bottom with the fence gates and the clay pots with the cactus on it as well. But yeah, that's going to be it. We can go see how much we've collected so far. It's not going to be too much, and I haven't really decorated down here, but it's not too big of a deal. But look at all this. We got a bunch. We got a bunch of them. Guys, that's going to be it. Thank you so much for watching today. I really do appreciate it. Thank, just seriously, thank you so much. Um, guys, feel free to join the Discord if you want to. We're almost at 1,000 people in the Discord, so thank you if you've already joined. Uh, feel free to join the Patreon if you want to be a VIP in the Twitch chat. Uh, again, that's twitch.tv slash witch... I almost said witch fraud. Wow. Wax fraud. Twitch.tv slash wax fraud, that is. Also, we do have more merch coming soon. Keep an eye out for that. Keep an eye out for that. We have more merch coming soon. That's going to be in an Etsy link down below for the existing merch. But guys, that's going to be it. Take care of yourselves and do something nice for someone. Thanks. Thank you so much for watching episode 30. We will come back for episode 31 next week. Thanks, guys. Uh, stay tuned. I uh, hope you enjoyed the episode. Bye.